All right. We are on the ground at Newark, New Jersey, one of three major airports here in New York City metro area. Instantly hit with a escalator. It's always fun. So this is an international arrival. We are coming in from Canada, Quebec City. But it doesn't matter where you're coming in from, international is international. And it is actually a long haul. But for me, this is a layover for seven hours because I am going to Rocklevik, Iceland. It's my next stop. What a long haul. You can fast forward if you want. <laughs> what a long haul this is. And of course, this right here is not working. best international arrival I've seen so far was through Boston. I do have a video on this channel about that Boston arrival. For those of you who want to check it, you can. Oh, wow. You can see uh, New York from down New York City, Manhattan, high rises. I'm surprised at how long that is with no uh, working escalator or uh, tram. I'm just gonna walk. turn it off here all right so after a quick pass through there through the uh, immigration line there it was pretty fast we are now headed down I'm actually like I said doing a layover it's a seven-hour layover before we go to Iceland 
I'm actually going to see if I can upgrade the flight to a, one of those flat laying seats because it's a red eye. I don't know if they got any available, but we'll see. Right. So I got to grab my luggage and then like recheck back in, I guess. This is my second time to Newark, but it was a domestic layover from Phoenix to Miami. It's definitely much more complicated coming in internationally, although it was a breeze getting through that immigration processing. I would say the U.S. does do immigration processing better than probably anybody. The United States does. Newark does have the modern infrastructure for that. Well, that took about 10 minutes. Overall, I'm going to give Newark about a 4.5 out of 5 for international rivals. Again, another really good processing procedures into the United States. Not a lot of wait time. I don't know, man. It seems like the U.S. so far has some of the best airports. But then again, I'm an American, so I don't know if I'm getting super good treatment. I mean, I'm sure it's different for people who are not Americans, but even then, it seems like just the way the airport functions compared to Canada, all airports in the United States are better as a, compared to what I saw in Canada. And I like Canada. I think it's a great place, but what I witnessed in Canada, all but today's flight. Today was the first flight that was not delayed. Every flight, I took about five, were delayed. And people lost luggages all over Canada, so it's a small country. I don't, I don't think it's really necessary. Oh, got to do this here. Baggage recheck. Okay. So, this is a layover. I don't know what I'm doing exactly here. So, I guess I dropped off my bags there, even though I'm here for seven hours. I guess that allows me to leave the airport without my luggage, which is good. Because I didn't want to carry that around with me. And I think I already have my boarding pass. So I already dropped off my bags, boarding pass. I guess I could go like wander around, get my hair cut or something, I don't know. That would be convenient if that's the case. But I do need to talk to United because I wanna upgrade my ticket. So if I didn't check my bags there, I could have just left and exited, but because I'm doing a layover, I'm going to go into the airport again. So now I'm going to go through the transfer process, or which would basically be the departure process. Let's see here. Oh no, this is the only part I don't like about American airports. The lines at the check-in. It's always crazy. But I don't think I need to go through that. I think I could skip it. All right, so I did upgrade my seat cost me $199, but I'm in Economy Plus now. And I think it's worth it, the $199, actually. Oops. Okay. So we went through the processing. It is very busy. Very, very busy. But it moves semi-fast, considering what they're doing. But... Yeah, new work, huh? So I've got five, almost six more, almost six hours here. I don't know if I'm happy about that. Six hours at Newark. 
I guess I'll be able to make a real interesting new work video from here. This is going to be like the best new work airport travel guide ever. I think United is one of the premier airlines here. I think this is like a hub for United actually between this one and Chicago. I don't know what other ones I like United because it's Star Alliance and worldwide a lot of the best airlines around the world are Star Alliance members so United is up there with those guys so definitely having a United membership is worth it Actually, Air Canada and United are partners. Although, Air Canada used to be a great airline. The first time I flew Air Canada, I loved it. This time, I'm not so convinced. Not so convinced. Where's this United Club that I'm looking for? United Club, it's this way. I'm also a member of Priority Pass, so let's see here. I'm gonna go to the restroom, actually. So here in Newark, they have these bars where you don't actually have a bartender. You have these uh, laptops or these iPads, and they have a QR code, and you just order from there, and then they bring out a drink. Although I would say this is not the most efficient system I've ever seen, but it's touchless. I would rather have real people personally. But that's what they got out here. You can see they got this whole thing right here. All right, so I finally decided to upgrade. It's gonna cost me $999. But I'm flying United Polaris. Here's the United Club.